everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. I'm really excited, it's Saturday morning, it's quite early and I've got a delivery from Somerset Grills who's driving up to drop off one of their amazing um, grill barbecues um, and it's on loan for a couple of weeks. Okay, so this is Ben, uh, the owner, one of, one of the owners? One of the owners one of, the of the Somerset owners. Grill Company. And uh, he's delivered this amazing, it's the most solid bit of kit I've ever handled. Um, all the wood that I'm gonna need and uh, he's kindly said that he's gonna help me put some of this together in my yeah. messy garage. A change of plan, because it's so well built and so heavy, Ben has said that we really need to set it up where it's gonna sort of sit for the next few weeks. So we're gonna set it up outside. Luckily, it's windy as hell, but it's not raining at the moment. So we're gonna set it up and put a cover over it for when it does start raining. Okay, so it was at this point where Ben realised that he uh, didn't bring all the pieces uh, correctly. So um, a few days later, I'm now doing this on my own. Okay, it's done. It's, it's all together, assembled. It is absolutely magnificent. Um, I'm not sure you're gonna get the uh, the sort of the gravity of how amazing this thing actually is, but it is massive. Um, I am falling in love with this bit of kit and I've never, I've never even used one yet. I've cooked on gas, I've cooked on um, charcoal, um, I've cooked with kettles and smokers and things, but genuinely this thing just excites me. Um, Wow, just absolutely well. Every single piece that I picked up, I think I either said out loud or to myself, bloody hell, this is heavy. Every single component to this is extremely well made. It fits together perfectly. It looks worse than it is to actually put together, but basically because all these bolts are the same bolt, you're using the same bolt, just, just it's fine the hole basically. The instructions are really, really easy um, to use. Um, but what we're going to have to do is season this now before we can use it and uh, then we're good to go. So I'm going to just oil this up first and then we'll light a fire. Okay, so that is, um, well, it's as sort of oiled as, as I think I need to do it. Um, perhaps I'll just mop some of this up, but it's uh, time to light a fire now. Okay, I shall be very honest. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. I've never used the, um, the fire lighters that Ben has given me. Um, but I've lit a fire or two in my time. Okay, so we'll get this going and then we'll put some bigger logs on and then we'll really get it going. So if I've got it right, we're using ash in the ember maker. This is what this part's called. Um, yeah, apparently I think, that, I think that's what Ben said that it was ash. I apologize if I get that wrong. I'll amend that in the comments if needs be. But apparently that's what he has found uh, burns best um, for, this, um, for this type of grill. Now I've raised this up, but let's, uh, let's release the brake. Oh, there we go, Lower that down a little bit. And that is what we're working with. So what's gonna happen is the wood's gonna burn it's going to fall down here and then we're going to move the embers about a little bit i suppose like a like a one of those arcade um coin machines where we're just going to move it sort of down we're just going to keep burning this wood and then it comes with one of these a scraper which i'm assuming yeah so that fits in there so you can use it that way 
and then for the embers underneath you'll uh, drop down the drawer and then you'll be able to scrape these embers um, sort of forward like that. Um, so I love the fact it comes with that. Oh my God, this is heavy. And it comes with um, a flat plate so you could do your burgers or your onions, jacket potatoes, whatever you want on there. I am not exaggerating, that was really heavy. And then you've also got a little mini tool as well, a little handheld jobber. And then you can also do that as well. So it really does have everything. I have never ever been so excited to use a bit of kit like this. It's just absolutely incredible. Just listen to that. So whilst uh, I'm waiting for that, um, if you can just hit that subscribe button because I appreciate everyone's support um, following me. Ben said it takes about sort of 45 minutes to an hour to actually, um, you know, get to to where you want to be uh, ready for cooking. So obviously longer than um, than than using charcoal and things like that, but um, potentially worth it. So I've been sat in the kitchen and just every now and again, and if we're lucky, we might hear one you just hear a little bit of an ember just drop down and you just sort of hear it um but what i've done is i've just put more wood on there um and basically you just keep feeding this um i suppose until you get to where you want to be obviously this is a bit of an experiment for me today but i cannot tell you how excited i am um, by the time this goes up the instagram stories will probably be gone because they last 24 hours, but I am posting away today because I just can't remember being this excited about a grill before. Um, it's just absolutely magnificent. I don't think I'm gonna wanna let this one go. So it's all over, everything's burnt out. Um, I'm just gonna get these out and then later tonight, we're gonna cook a beautiful little um, tomahawk steak on that. So uh, I'm really, really pleased with this so far. I absolutely love using this. So we've hit a bit of a snag um, in that it's just started raining now and in an hour it's worse and in another hour it's horrific. Tomorrow looks horrific, but Saturday, that could be the day. So I think we're gonna just park it all here so it'll be a to be continued. Um, and uh, we'll call this video um, setting up and seasoning the barbecue. And then on the next video, we'll do the cooking and I'm gutted because I was so looking forward to it. I really hope you've enjoyed um, this video. Um, this is on loan to me. I really don't wanna give it back. I think they're gonna make me, which is sad, um, but give this video a like. Find Somerset Grills on Instagram, give them a follow, give them a follow on Facebook, put some comments on there as well to say you've seen their amazing barbecue. Mention me, that's always good. And maybe between us, I won't have to give it back. We'll see. Um, I'll see you soon, guys. Mm -hmm.